Today's outcrop of the day is an example of a structure that's moved in two different directions. This plane here used to be a quartz vein. This is an old mining adit, and the quartz vein's been taken away to leave the structure on the side of the wall. On this surface here, you can see the slick and sides in this direction. That's an oblique slip movement. And then on this surface here, which is just a few centimetres further out, the slick and sides are almost horizontal, indicating a strike slip movement. The thing to remember when you're looking at slick and sides is quartz veins and structures like this usually only record the last movement on the structure. In this case, we're lucky because the structure moved on this plane and then a little bit later, the movement shifted across a little bit and moved on this plane to record a different direction of movement. Why is that important? Well, in this case, we're looking at an old mine at it and we're trying to figure out which way the ore goes. When a structure's moving at the time the vein's being filled in, the ore chutes tend to be perpendicular to the direction of that movement. So if the movement was this way, the ore chutes are likely to be going that way because any small ripple in the surface of the structure will leave a dilational gap perpendicular to the movement and those dilational gaps are where the ore usually ends up.